Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use transmission messages. Now what those are basically is that if you played the single player campaign, um, obviously on the uh, left hand side of the screen a little box will appear up with the name of a person on and then of course a voiceover would kick over and then it would tell you what's going on, what to look after, so on and so forth. Well I'm going to show you how to use that. On spawn. Let's go ahead and grab this. Here's my message. Now here you can set up whatever you want. So uh, we're gonna make this one message. Get out of here. Okay, speaker. We're gonna make. Vega. Speaker image will be Vega. <coughs> you do an encrypt the message if you want, which means that it'll encrypt itself as you go through for a letter. Sound, we're going to use Vega. Okay. I think that's it. Let me uh, give it a one second delay. Okay. <coughs> now when I start, it just say a message right there. So we spawn in. There you go. So that allows you to put custom messages into your, inside, your, inside your game, and that can last in there as long as you want it to. Now, if you don't want three seconds, you can let it last for five seconds or ten seconds, depending on how long you want it to last for. And there's different ones you can use for this also. You can use different images also. You can put the Doom guy on there, a scientist, Olivia, Samuel, so on and so forth. Large. Okay. But let's say you don't want to use that and you want to try something different. Let's delete that. So there's no message. Turn the sound off. Let's say you want a single player uh, or a uh, something from the single player campaign. Okay, so you go to campaign speaker. You should not. You should not. We well, weapon. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. There is an emergency in the f There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. Yeah, he doesn't know when to shut up sometimes. So now we gotta set this up for a delay. Uh, that was one second, so we're going to set this up for four seconds. No, not 40. Four. There we go. And we're going to set this one up, too. We're going to set this one for about six seconds. There. So now we start. It's going to play there this message and show uh, Vega on the side of the screen. Load up. There is an emergency in the foundry. The regulators have been destroyed and the core temperatures are now destabilizing. And there you go. That's how you get that to work. <clears throat> so if you want to make a very in-depth single player campaign with backlines and stuff like that, you can do that. Um, there's lots of different lines to pick from too. You don't just have to pick that one. You can pick other ones too. Um, there's uh, Samuel Hayden's in there, Olivia's in there, all kinds of stuff. So you can actually play your own campaign out as you want to. And that's basically how you get that to work. You can play around with it, try different stuff with it, and put in different custom messages as well, just like I showed you earlier. So you can actually be creative with this. That being said, I hope you all found this helpful. And until then, y'all take care. <laughs>